Hey, what's up, Mexicans? Uh, David Feeder here. Um, so as I'm sure all of you already know, uh, the Pulse Chain Testnet version 3 is live. It's up and running. You can go to pulsechain.com here and you can click on, there's the Explorer, which is like the new, the new block Explorer. And it shows the validators. So there's a bunch of stuff. Faucet. Uh, this is the launch pad for staking for the validators. There's the bridge, which I don't think is up and running yet. And then PulseX. So go to pulsechain.com, try it out. Uh, there's tons of videos. Everybody else is doing tutorials on that. So that's cool. Um, what I want to talk about today is hardware for staking for your validator. So here on the launch pad, there's tons of there's actually a nice checklist and tons of documentation on how to be a validator. So, but before we go through all this later, I'll do other videos on all this stuff. Um, first thing we need is like a little mini computer. So I'm trying out after watching like a lot of ETH staker videos and, and those guys, um, I'm going with the Intel Nook 12 Pro and let me, let me hold up model number for you and show you guys. So this is the one with the core i7 processor. And you can get this online. It was like 700 bucks or something. All right, so this is a little mini computer. And then I got the RAM. So this is 64 gigabytes of memory. It's a little, the laptop size. And I'll leave uh, stuff in the description for the exact make and models and stuff for all this stuff. Um, I'll leave you guys links to where you can find it or the, like the serial numbers and SKUs and stuff. And then what I'm doing for the hard drive here, and this is really the most important part of the whole thing, in my opinion, this is what really what matters, is your hard drive. We need a, it's gotta be a solid state, one of these little M.2 sticks. Now I'm going with the Western Digital Black. This is the four terabyte. And this one's really fast. It's made for gaming. It's like the fastest gaming drive that's like affordable, that pretty much came out recently and this should do this should last for hopefully a couple of years for a validator with four terabytes um we'll probably have to compress the database maybe once a year inside of like the software but i think this will be good and this was like 380 dollars, 400 bucks after tax probably um so this is like the most one of the most important parts one of the most expensive parts um, but that's pretty much it. So it's just those three things. I'll leave links in the description. I'm actually going to show you how to put together real quick here. Um, I'm just going to do it live because it's pretty straightforward. There's actually not much to this. And I'll leave a link to another video I found of a ETH staker who um, she actually made a video where it's just like a table and you watch her assemble it. Maybe that's a little better. I'm just trying to do this live here up close. All right. So first thing here, let me, let me get close here. I'm just going to just open the box of the Nook. So this Nook is just, it's just a little PC. It's tiny. They're pretty power efficient. I think they use 180 watts maximum. Um, they run lower than that, but that's like the max that they'll do. All right, so I'm just taking the lid off the box. And then you see here, they're kind of cool. They're tiny. It's a little guy. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little baby computer. Isn't that neat? Yeah, little guy. Uh, ventilation then on the back here you got your, your power you got a video port internet two usbs for the like keyboard mouse and more video uh, hdmi and then these are thunderbolt ports uh, usb type c um because i'm thinking about making like pre-built kits for people that could just i'll make a website people could just like buy these i'm thinking about including a portable travel monitor like the, these little LCD monitors that you can like fold and they actually use the Thunderbolt. This right here. They, uh, that's how you plug them in that, and they power off that. It's, it's, you can fold them up and you put them in a little bag. So that way you can just kind of tuck this in a corner on your desk. Um, you can put it in your basement next to your internet router or modem. Um, that's what's cool about these things. You can just kind of stash them anywhere. One weird thing to note, they don't come with a power cord. Um, because Intel wanted to make one SKU for the whole world. And then these power cords are, it's got a weird little plug. It's the three little pronged hole one, um, but IT guys do have them. 
So just be just be watch out for that. You could just add it to your shopping cart if you're ordering one. Um, if I if I make a website and start selling these once mainnet's out, like actual validators, I'll include a power cord, obviously. Um, but that's beware if you're doing this ahead of time. Um, so really, all you need to know for the box, it's easy to get access. There's just the four screws on the feet here, and we're just gonna take those off with a little uh, screwdriver. So let me go ahead and unscrew these. Just like so. And these even, I think they stick in, they don't even come out all the way. Yeah, so it's perfect. They don't, they don't actually pull off, so you won't drop them. So we're just gonna unscrew both feet at the bottom here. this up I do have to be a little careful there's so there's two models for these there's the slim and then there's the tall this is the tall I wanted the tall one because it's got a little more like airflow it's a little bigger inside plus there's a, a metal part where the solid state hard drive sticks to but the thing you got to be careful with the tall model there's a ribbon cable that connects to this hard drive bay right here that I'm holding in my other hand um, we're not going to be using that cable. I don't really, it's not important to us for what we're going to be doing installing, but you know, you don't want to yank this and rip it off. You want to actually just kind of, I'm just going to hold it off to the side and then I'm going to put the parts in. It, you could disconnect it if you want. It just pops right off, but I, I should be able to do this without taking it off. Actually, let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. All right. So first thing I'm going to open next is the Western Digital Hard Drive. So this hard drive, this is storage. You know, this is where it holds all the files. This hard drive has to hold the whole Ethereum, like the, you know, ETH1 execution client, the old blockchain. And it has to also hold the beacon chain, which is what the validators use to communicate. Um, so the ETH guys, for them, they're saying two terabytes is fine. Um, for like mainnet Ethereum, you can get away with two terabytes. But for Pulse Chain, I just went ahead with four because that's the largest that they sell in this uh, size right here. So this is the hard drive, just a tiny little stick. Um, yeah, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use a little screw. Right there. There's a little screw that we need to take out because it holds down the hard drive. So it's right there, that little guy. So I'm just gonna unscrew it. And um, I may make more videos in the future with an actual camera if people need. So you guys can't see me sticking this in here. But it really does, it just pops right in. And then I'm gonna put the screw back in. All right, cool, that's what it looks like. See right here at the top? It just kind of fits right in that slot on the right, and then you screw it in on the left, and boom, easy money. All right, next thing we open is the RAM. Uh, this is just regular laptop RAM, because um, it uses laptop size, because it's the small, you know, small form factor. Uh, you don't need anything fancy. It doesn't have to be the fastest RAM or with like the RGB color lighting and all that stuff. You don't need to get that RAM. Um, just regular old. I mean, these are nice RAM. These are the uh, the Rip Jaws, which are from G Skill, which I think are pretty high quality. Um, these are generally for gaming, but these should be fine. They're not too fancy. They don't have lights on them. It's just a regular old piece of RAM. We're not going to overclock it. We want this thing to be as normal and boring as possible. So there's two slots here down at the bottom. 
that where I'm gonna see they're empty right now down at the bottom there. I'm gonna just just pop the ram right in. Second one, and I'll show you what it looks like. So they just slide right in, and then you just push them down. And they sort of lay flat, and then they, they click right into place. So now if you look at it, they're down at the bottom there. You kind of do the first one, and it lays in there. And then you do the second one, and it snaps right in. So, boom. Easy. And that's it. Those are the only two parts. And you just, just close the lid back up. Just stick it back together. Help if I, all right, you do have to turn it straight the right way. <laughs> and then, boom. Slides right back in together. And then you just screw it in. So pretty straightforward, not too hard. You know, some people may not be comfortable with taking it apart and messing with the computers and electronics, but it's, it's not that bad. You can do it yourselves. This is cool about this is like, you know, I know Alex from Ecosa is gonna be offering them and I wanna offer them too. Um, like pre-built ones um, where I'll test them and I'll assemble them and I'll put stickers on them and I'll sign it and you know it'll be fancy it'll be fun for for connoisseurs if you want like a special validator you know it's it's you know but it's just a computer so anybody can do this at home it's it's open source you don't have to spend a lot of money if you want you can get it cheaper and that's it so hardware pretty much ready uh, that the power it comes with a power brick and the, and the power cord those are the only other pieces. Um, you get your own keyboard, monitor, and mouse. You know, you probably already have them laying around. If you want dedicated ones for setup, that's fine too. Um, yeah, so cool. So this is the hardware. The next step, I'm gonna make a different video. We're gonna make a USB stick. That's actually the next thing we need. We need a, a USB stick. Um, like eight gigabytes or 16, I think would be fine. I think eight would probably be perfect. Um, and then we're gonna install, and I'll, I'll make a separate video for, it's Ubuntu, it's, it's Linux. So, we're not, cause we're not running Windows on these, it's, it's better to do it in Linux. Um, and Ubuntu is kind of the standard. It'll be like the Ubuntu desktop version. Actually, you know, let's go to their website. U -B -U -N -T -U. So Ubuntu or Ubuntu, however you pronounce it. Accept your cookies. Okay, so we want to go to downloads and then we want the 22.04 long-term support desktop. The reason we want the desktop and not the server, you can do the server if you want, but it doesn't have like a desktop. It doesn't have, so you just save the file and then it downloads. Um, but I'll, I'll cover that in a separate video. I just want to couldn't resist. So yeah, so so we'll, we'll put that on it. We're going to download this. We're going to put it on a stick. We're going to put the stick into the computer. We turn it on and we install Ubuntu onto the computer itself, onto the hard drive. So I'll do that in a totally separate video um, coming soon. I'm going to work on this kind of behind the scenes. I'm going to get started on this because I want to try, I want to make sure everything works before I'm even a little afraid to put links down below where to buy this stuff because if it doesn't work, I'd feel really bad. Like you guys sh maybe shouldn't buy this yet until I confirm it works and make sure this is a good build. Um, so maybe I won't, maybe I won't put the links. So wait, uh, <laughs> let me make sure. So I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna get started on it. Let me build a validator on the Pulse Chain testnet. I'm gonna go through the whole process and then I'll, I'm gonna start making videos on it once I nail it down. I also wanna make um, like a, like a copy and paste tutorial, like a, like a web page or like a PDF file, like a document. Cause the Ethereum guys, they, there's this dude named Samir from like the ETH staker team and the Ethereum foundation gave him like a, like a grant or some money to make documents. So his documents on his medium articles, which is like, okay, th those are the official paid like Ethereum tutorials. That's like he, his shit is the official documentation. And it's just some guys like medium posts. So I'm going to go through and like take all the, cause it's, it's pretty similar to what we're going to be doing. It's like 90% the same, but they don't show everything. And I want to add some stuff and I'm going to go deeper into like, 
yeah, I'm, I'm gonna everything customized for Pulse Chain. We'll have our own documentation that's like dedicated just for us. That so I'm gonna work on that too. Um, so yeah, guys, super excited. So go ahead, get out there. You know, connect to the test net if you haven't already. Play with it. You know, check your coins. If you sacked, you got your coins. Try them out. Try PulseX. Pretty cool. All right. So I will. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to work on this. I'll give you guys an update soon. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. All right. Bye, y'all.